Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Maria from Under the Night Moon and I'm here today to do flip throughs for you of uh, two new Christmas journals that I've made for my Etsy shop. And then I have some really beautiful, um, I made two really beautiful Mar golden Mary tags. And then I have another, um, this little cherub tag which is still in my shop but I thought I would um, show it off in the video today too. Um, so I'm going to start and do a flip through of this really beautiful angel journal first. Um, this book has been spoken for already, um, but I still want to do a flip through and just show how pretty it is on the inside and all the beautiful details. Um, and then I will do another video of this book, which is available and this will uh, go in my Etsy shop. By the time you're watching this video, it should be in my Etsy shop. And then real quick, I'm going to just show you the really beautiful Mary tags that I've made. Um, I wish I had more time to make these, and I will be making more coming up. Um, they have this really pretty iridescent crystal on the bottom. Lots of lace and sparkle. I did some gold embossing, which I absolutely love. And then I covered the back with some really pretty Christmas paper. And these would just make such a beautiful gift. You know, you can tuck this inside a card, pair it up with a candle, and you have a really beautiful gift um, for someone who loves Mary or a get well or just a beautiful, you could even use this as an ornament. My sister has these on her tree um, that I've made in the past. She also uses uh, them as poles for her ceiling fans. Um, which I think is a neat idea and I always love to go to her house and see them. So I have these two and then the little um, Christmas angel is already in my shop but it's fun to just show you the details up close. A little bit of a different color palette but I just love the plums, sugar plum fairies <laughs> and this one has a pretty um, sparkling um, charm that I made on the bottom and this one has an embossed deer paper on the back. Okay, so now I'm going to do the flip through of this angel journal. And I just have to thank um, my buyer so, so much for giving this a good home. I love this book. I just think it came out so beautiful. Um, and this is actually a little tuck spot behind here. And something will go in there. I'm not quite sure what, but I wanted to just make sure you saw that you can tuck letters or pretty cards that you've received for Christmas um, and then the beautiful angel that I've embossed of course the peace on earth um, this book I really um, did think mostly about Christmas time and peace and not so much about Santa and presents but I really wanted it to just be a peaceful book about just you know the holy family and um, I think overall I achieved what I was going for um, and it's just super pretty. I have these um, beautiful layered embellishments here, the gold embossing, the ribbons, and then um, the teardrop crystal trim on the bottom. And then when you open it up on the inside, there's some beautiful laces and ribbons. There's a beautiful um, charm of like a snowflake up here. Lots of gold um, and sparkles in this book. And then the inside little tuck spot has um, lots of cards and papers for you. Um, this book is also the Pixie Dust Files paper. Um, I originally had this as a Mary book and I'm going to do a Mary book using these papers because they're so gorgeous. I will leave a link below. Um, but I changed it to a Christmas book because I just really wanted to play with Christmas at the time. And so um, this is just a beautiful little card. Here's a gorgeous angel envelope that's printed double sided and ready for a little card. I'll probably put something in there. And then some of these beautiful um, flashcards that say Merry Christmas. I really try to just make sure you have a lot of papers and things um, to play with in both of these journals. They're packed with all kinds of papers and tags and you'll see coming up here. 
Um, this is again um, from the Pixie Dust Files Christmas collection. Beautiful angel. I love how she layers her papers. So absolutely gorgeous. You'll see a lot of Pixie Dust Files papers, these gorgeous pink background papers with the gold. Lots of gold, lots of sparkle. Then on the other side, um, again, another one of her backing papers there. And then I just made this pocket out of this really pretty, um, like iridescent white paper. And then I just added this beautiful tag with a church calendar from 1916 on the back. There's all kinds of digitals in this um, book. If you need to know where um, some of the things came from, just send me a message. I know I have a few messages to um, respond back to, and I will. I promise I will get to all of you. And also to just quickly, um, I have to say thank you all so, so very much just again for the amazing compliments, comments, kind remarks, sweet emojis, just every every kind, thoughtful feedback that I've received. I am just positively blessed and amazed at just all of you and your response to my work. It means so much to me and um, I'm just really grateful for each and every one of you. So just wanna send that out there. Um, just so that you know it just i love it i truly love it um so there <laughs> okay thank you for letting me do that um this is a really beautiful um, postcard that i got in tampa and it's just the holy family it says merry christmas along the top and i just scanned it so i can use it in my books and then a beautiful this is an anna griffin tag from one of her collections that i have and then some really beautiful um, embellishments, laces, little Merry Christmas here. This is a beautiful image of an angel, which I love, and it's a little flip. Lots of journaling space in these books, as you can see, some beautiful sketch paper, um, which takes very well to a felt tip pen. A fine point um, would work really beautiful on this paper. Um, and then just tuck spots little angels, vintage images. Um, this is just a bunch of little papers that I put together with a little tiny rad uh, for you to just journal on. Some embossed papers as well. And I like these because it just stays flat. And then another Pixie Dust Files um, card for you to write and journal on tucked behind that. Lots of tabs to help you find your way. Beautiful um, vintage Christmas imagery. And you can see, um, or I'll show you in case you can't, but I did come across a lot of photo corners lately, these really cool gold ones. And so I have these throughout the book. Um, and then just lots of gold and sparklies. Um, and this is a little tuck that tucks under. So again, a couple more of these really beautiful um, tags. And then these gorgeous little um, Nutcracker Soldier um, images that I recently got. And then on the other side, um, again, just another tuck with lots of um, cards and papers for you to play with. And then the... Um, Paperclip has a golden, this reminded me of a little ornament, so it's just a little rhinestone ornament there. And it's clipped on, so you can clip that anywhere in the book if you like. And then in this pocket, just another little card from uh, the Pixie Dust Files Christmas collection. And I made it a little tuck spot and put the little church scene on the cover there. And then also another little tag with some pretty embellishments and just beautiful papers and then i really love these um golden um they're for presents but i love finding the gold the vintage gold ones so this is actually a sticker that you can peel off and use but i just love how delicate and beautiful it is so i gave you one of those and then there's a little charm down here and just a darling little um, circle tuck spot image 
on there. Also a tab to help you uh, turn the page. And then on the other side is this beautiful image. This is the antique papery. And um, I have a lot of her images as well. I don't know if her Etsy shop is still up, but um, she is on Instagram. You can find her there. Love her papers. And then just some gorgeous rose paper for you to journal on. Love the gold roses. And then this is also from the Pixie Dust Files. I love this paper so much. It's just awesome. And so I added some of that. And then just a beautiful um, little nativity of baby Jesus there. Some pink papers, and I don't know if the camera's gonna pick up, but there's gold sparkles. I did get out my gold paint and just sparkled all the pages. So it's very, very um, subtle, but you can hopefully see it there on the cover, I mean on the pages. And then just some um, textiles, another little tuck spot here. And this is a vellum page. And what I did with the vellum was I stitched on the corner of each side of the vellum so you have a pocket on each side and you can see there's another one of those little golden corners um, but what I love is that you can tuck things in the pocket and see it on the other side and so when you flip this over you can see the beautiful flowers and then I just add stuff as I go, but like this could go anywhere in the book. And then the same on this side. I paired it up with another, and these are really beautiful um, flocked vellum sheets. And this is from uh, Stampin' Up, I think, their website. They have this gorgeous Christmas paper. I love anything flocked and velvety. To me, it's just so elegant and pretty. So you've got two of those, there's one on each side. And then this angel has the really pretty gold embossing on her wings. Lots of details in this book. Um, and then this is one of Amity Bloom's really beautiful envelope um, things that she has. And I added a little Velcro. I am playing around with some inks. I've got alcohol inks coming. And also these are mica stains that are pearly. And I love the mica stains. I'm gonna have to get some more colors. I did stamp one of Tim Holtz's Every Good Wish for Christmas up here, just to add some interest. And then the whole thing flips over so you can see the beautiful um, design. And then you can uh, journal on the back page here. And then you can also just journal inside here, add pictures, and the little Velcro just keeps it like a little envelope. And you can flip this over like that as well. And then I just embellished with a little poinsettia and a bow. And then on the next page, um, this is just a page from one of my vintage alphabet books, which I absolutely love. <laughs> and so I did the M for Mary and then also for Mary, which I love. And my name's Maria, so I'm partial to the M as well, but I just love, love the typography. These were all hand-drawn back in the day. It's just incredible. And I just recently found an artist on Instagram that does this type of artwork. It's absolutely mesmerizing. And I'm, I never get tired of watching her reels because it's just, it's amazing to see um, just the detail that goes into that art. It's, it's, it's truly like the wow factor. <laughs> um, here is another little belly band and I'm gonna put this sticker in here just so you know it's a little um, belly band in there. So you can store all kinds of pictures in there. And then on this side here is another one of Amity Bloom's envelopes. I did attach this sweet little Christmas tree charm down on the bottom, but it's the same, it opens up and then you can see um, the other colors of the mica stains that I got. And the same Tim Holtz stamp there. Um, and it folds up just the same. You know, the whole thing flips over. So you can see, and I'll show you the beautiful design. She's got some beautiful papers right now. 
I have a lot of her papers, so beautiful. And then again, you can um, uh, do your journaling, tuck your papers and letters and notes and things like that inside there. And then on the other side, you can hear the little bell. And this is just a little tuck spot that I made, um, mainly to give some strength to this paper as well. And I just made it a little tuck. Here's the little bell here. Of course, you can cut that off if it drives you nuts. Um, I personally love it. Just kind of a reminder of Christmas. I love bells. Um, the church I live next to here rings the bells, um, which is absolutely beautiful. And on certain days, it'll ring the Ave Maria, which is so beautiful. Yeah. And then this is just a piece of scrapbook paper. And then I had some fun embossing with some silver um, embossing powder here. And it's just a fun little deer. Very elegant. Love, love, love. So I tucked that in there. But a really nice place for you to add a story. You can add pictures um, and have some fun with that as well. And I left the top open so that you can really utilize all of this space here. And then here's the other side of the vellum. And I stitched on the back this really beautiful Pixie Dust Files um, rose image and then added some lace on both sides and made this lace a little tuck spot. And so I just put some beautiful cards and um, little, um, you know what these are called, the flashcards in there as well. Just fun little places for you to add pictures or um, parts of your story that you want to tell in this book, parts of your Christmas. Um, and then I did attach an angel here. This is a three-dimensional angel. And this paper clip is holding all of the papers and things. Which I'm going to just take everything off so you can see the actual page is just a pink, beautiful pink. This is one of Anna Griffin's angels here, which I love. And then you can kind of tuck behind the little angel, but I did um, wrap this paper over. And you can see this is just a dreams, etc. And they have a website there with some amazing digitals. Her kits are huge, um, but the imagery is so beautiful. And so um, I like attaching this. I had the angels together. I like attaching this with the little paper clip. That way you can really add... Um, the paper clip will just help you keep it all together and you can add many things. You know, you can tuck papers under there. You'll see um, on this side, I put another really beautiful, um, that white paper, which is just so pretty. So Christmassy. Little die cut of a snowflake. I have a few of these. These I made myself. Um, beautiful little um, tag from the Pixie Dust Files. And then the star here. And I'll put that behind so I don't cover the little angels. Then I had some fun with, um, these are Tim Holtz rub-ons. I don't know if you can see, I'll try. So you see the silver on there? I bought these so long ago and I absolutely love them. And it's hard to see, I know I did it on the stripes, but when you see it in person, it's really cool. Maybe if I hold it lower, you can kind of see. But it's just Christmas Wishes 25. There's a beautiful wreath. It says Wonderland. I don't know if you can see all, it's so fun. It's like foiling and it's not gonna come off, which is really cool. And this is just a little bag. And what I did was I attached the bag onto a bunch of just papers so that you have another little notebook um, here to jot down. Um, oops, hold on. So that you can jot down little um, menus, dishes, cookie recipes. Um, I always like to try to um, add a little notepad um, to my books. Here's a piece of a really pretty doily. And then it's a tux, it's a little bag. Oh, you can see the little bag up top there. And it's just stapled onto the, the cover of the notepad. And so I just put this darling little soldier and this beautiful Christmas um, image that I got online. 
just some fun little journaling cards in there for you. Um, but I do like to try to have a notepad for you. And I don't know if you can see, but it's snowflake paper. Just to jot some extra little ideas down or memories and that sort of thing. And then on the other side is some pixie dust tiles, polka dots. And then here I did a little pocket using a doily because it's so delicate and pretty. And there's the holy family there. This needs a star. I'm going to put a star on here. Um, a star will go on here, but I did add some holly. And then it's a tuck spot um, underneath here. And so I added some really beautiful paper from the Pixie Dust Files Christmas. Some more little cards. And this is a beautiful um, Anna Griffin frame for you if you have a special photo and then a gorgeous little prayer card and then this book will also come with a little envelope of extra goodies for you to play with as well and then we're almost finished this is the other side of that beautiful paper I just added this little angel and some more antique papery um, journaling cards which are just so beautiful and those get tucked in there. Beautiful poinsettias here. Um, some more paper to journal. I stitched on some laces. Here you can see how gorgeous that paper is. Just love it. A picture would look so pretty here. And then on the back here, um, I added one of these little soldiers from Hobby Lobby. I just love them. It's not very antique, but I just think he's cool. He's three-dimensional. And then I made this little um, envelope tuck with some embossed papers for you to journal again. Just more places for you to have fun. And then this is um, a really fun, and I think I'm going to tuck some of these rose stamps in there for you. I didn't put anything in there. I just made this this morning. I was adding, well, maybe those are too big. I was adding more things to this journal. Well, I'll find something to go in there, but I'm still going to keep those there. Um, just because I love this envelope. It's so pretty and delicate. And then the back page here is um, a beautiful angel, another gorgeous holly um, image. And then I made just a little pocket tag. This journal belongs to another snowflake. So pretty. And I'll put the little rose stamps in here as well. So that concludes the flip through for this journal. Uh, my signature will go right here. 2023. Um, like I said, this book has been spoken for, um, but it's so pretty. I wanted to have a record of it here and also just show how beautiful it is on the inside. So thank you so, so very much for watching and hanging out with me today. Um, I hope you're having a fun Saturday um, and I will see you in the next flip through. So um, thank you again. Oh, yes. Um, to my new subscribers, hello and welcome. Also to um, Instagram, you can follow me there at Under the Night Moon. And then all the links will be down below. So have a really great day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.